Hello everybody, it's Minecraft Go to 5 here, and today I have a banner rig for you. Here's what it looks like rendered out. You can see it blows in the wind. I also have one where it doesn't blow in the wind, um, but I think it looks pretty good. You can change the wind speed and things like that too. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I have Cinema 4D open here. Uh, here's the banner rig. So just drag it into Cinema 4D, or you could find the preset library and do it. So. Uh, here we have banner realistic, and then we have banner normal, so I'm just going to get both of these in. And uh, let's just take the normal one and just move it over here. Um, so the normal one uh, is normal, so if you didn't know that. So if I click play here, you'll see that this one's kind of, um, it looks like a banner, you know, it like moves in the wind and stuff. It's a cloth object, and then this one just sits here, and so... Um, so that's the normal one. Back to this one now. So uh, the texture for both of these, um, I just used, so I have down here um, a bunch of textures. Uh, if you want to change the texture, um, I don't know if there's a way to save these to your desktop or somewhere like that, but um, if you can't find it, just get a resource pack that hasn't changed the armor stands or something. And go to Entity and go down here and there's banner base just copy that and uh, you can put on your desktop edit it a little bit and uh, set it as the texture for this and it will upload it onto here or it'll put the texture on here so you could have a custom texture it's just um, you're gonna have to figure out how to get it on there by yourself so yeah uh, let's go ahead and I will show you how to change the speed so there's no user data on this one um, but it's not that hard to control so um, if you go to the banner, there's this little plus sign, click on it, and you'll see both of these. So uh, the banner is the actual um, white part here, the uh, flagish banner thing um, that moves. So right here we have a belt tag. Ignore that. Click on the second one that's the cloth tag. And here's where you have all your settings. Um, you could, you know, change this to zero and play it, and it'll, like, drop down. <laughs> I don't know if you'd want that. Um stiffness you know uh you can make it rubber so i can make this like 50 percent and uh it kind of bounces i guess uh, maybe i could change this to 100 and play it yeah <laughs> oh that's yeah that's a very nice looking banner there um probably don't want to do that oops uh, yeah, there's bounce, friction, um, all this stuff, and forces. If you don't want the wind on, um, you can just turn the uh, wind direction X, Y, and Z to zero, and the strength to zero, like that. And um, it'll just, it kind of still moves a little bit. Um, I don't know why that is, but um, I guess if you don't want wind or like it to move at all, just use the normal one. But that's how you get the controllers. Um, I think the banner looks pretty good. So, the download will be in the description, and thanks for watching. Okay, one more thing I forgot to mention. So, if you wanted to move the banner rig, um, you see it's not going to work. And then, um, if I actually play it, uh, you know, it's really glitchy. So, um, you can't really move it. So, uh, but I found out a way that you can move it. So, first you want to just make a cube. Don't worry about it. We're going to delete it when we're done. Um, then, where it says banner realistic here, click the plus by it, open it. And uh, where it says banner here, uh, you want to go ahead and click on the belt tag and delete that. And right here it says pole, go to that tag, the collider tag, delete that too. And this cloth tag, drag that onto the cube. Now select the entire thing, so the banner realistic uh, thing, and drag the banner where you want. So I'm going to drag it like over here, for example. So, you know, over here could be where you want the banner. Then uh, go to the pole and right click and do simulation tags, uh, cloth collider. And I think if you're in older versions, uh, you go to simulate cloth uh, dynamics. I don't know. It's, it's something up there, I think. Um, anyway, and then uh, you're going to want to take the collider tag or the cloth tag that we put on the cube and drag it back onto banner. And now you can just delete the cube if you want. And now go into Banner, right click, Simulation Tags, and you're going to want to do Cloth Belt. And then um, 
it says belt on you're going to just want to drag pull into belt on and click set and you can uncheck draw if you don't want to see those yellow lines and click play and at first it might freak out and sometimes it doesn't um, and it might lag for a second but um, then it works perfectly fine just like if it was spawned there so um, sorry for the confusion on that um, I can't really find any other ways to um, make it move so you only have to do it once and then you're good for your animations or whatever so thank you for watching and I will see you next time